Life was kind of boring. It'd be great if some fantasies are real. This is a thought of Wendy, a 14-year-old girl who is resting on her bed one day just writing in her diary. She checked her phone and got a registration link for a competition her school is holding in a week, laser. She read the rules and information about the competition and learned some stuff about laser. Oh, it's Neverland theme. Steer the world with fantasy and let reach Neverland by sunrise. Interesting. Peter Pan was one of her favorite fairy tales ever since she was a kid. So it being the competition's theme, it's splendid. It's 10 p.m., so she went to bed and fell asleep afterwards. She woke up, feeling uncomfortable with ants crawling on her hands. Wait, why are there even ants anyway? A forest? Was she kidnapped whilst asleep? She decided to explore the place. A bad decision, as she doesn't know how much danger there is in the big wild forest. It's a relief that there's someone here. She sees a boy and a small looking creature. The boy's hat reminded her of something, but she can't pinpoint what. Wait, who's there? Do I? Wendy froze. She didn't know what to do. Should she run away? or just introduce herself. She realized those two creatures are Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, her favorite fairy tale characters. Wendy felt like Ouch. it's a dream. This is not a dream? Are you guys seeing famous Peter Pan and Tinkerbell? Uh, yeah, and whoa, you must be the most beautiful girl in the world. Tinkerbell felt a bit of jealousy when he said that to this strange girl. I'm sure you know this cute pair, Tinkerbell. Say hi, please. Hi, Tinkerbell. Wait, is this Neverland that people always dream about? It surely is, pretty girl. You want to explore it? I'll guide you. Wait, before that, close your eyes. Can I trust you? Of course. Keep it Well, I'm thinking it might be good for you to go to like here, I don't know. This is the Never Neverland. You'll meet Tinkerbell Peter Pan. Lots of exciting stuff to do. And it's called the L-A-S-E-R. There is just black and white, feel clever, try life smart, or the religious contest, come try it on. What's more, Peter? You might like the poetics and arts even, so if you are interested, just tell me right now. How we then, Miss... Wendy! Call me Wendy. Nice name, Wendy. Well, Miss Wendy, would you prepare to dance with me? Sure, but please, call me Wendy, okay? Will do, Wendy. My house.
Peter and Wendy go to Peter's house. He then guided her to go inside the house. This is where you live? Yeah, come sit here. I said, love you, Shirley. Think I were playing this before you came. Wanna finish it? Think? Peter and Tinkerbell continue to play chess. Peter mumbled some strategic words during the match. It's adorable to watch him play, according to Wendy. This looks so fun, plus you guys do play a good match. Think fast. Do you want to play chess with her? Uh, I don't really know how to play chess. It's okay, I'll get, I mean, I'll help you. Peter stutters for a while, feeling a sting in his heart. A happy one. She and Tinkerbell played for a while, and fair to say, Wendy played well. You know what, Wendy? Why don't you participate in Laser 22? You got skills, you know? Sure, I'll think about it. Feeling bored and empty, Peter had an idea. He wants to make the atmosphere more nice. He wouldn't say it's romantic. Tinker, play song. Wait, I love this song. It is indeed beautiful here. The sunset is beautiful, isn't it? What do you mean, Peter? It's sunrise. Oh yeah, sorry. I was talking in a beautiful place. Peter prepared a gift for Wendy. Because the sunrise means Wendy has to go home, Peter decided to give her the gift. I actually want to spend more time with you, but since it's sunrise, you have to go home, right? Uh, here, I got you this. Whoa, for me? Such a beautiful bracelet. You want me to put it on your wrist? I'm sure it'll look perfect on you. I'll just put it on my myself. Thank you, Peter. Mas, Mbak, namanya siapa? Tuh, saya Chris lagi. Oh ya, yeah. ah, what's name? Hi, Wendy. Wendy, fried chicken, delicious, good, good, good. Wendy, when will you marry me? Bercanda. Ini pacarnya ya, bercanda. Oh ya, yeah. Mas ya, what's name? I'm Peter. Peter, Peter Parker, Spiderman, and jam jam. Eh, iya ini lukisannya lupa dikasih. Wow, is that? Who is he? Thanks for the painting, though. It looks nice. You want to keep it? No, it's okay. I got your bracelet already. I hope you remember me whenever you wear it. I'll find you one day. If I can't see you today, I'll see you every day. I will. Look, just believe in yourself and your dreams, and we'll meet again. Promise we'll meet again. Promise. Foolish, childish love. But certainly, Wendy is determined to find him and Tinkerbell. 
From afar, a basic alarm was heard. Wendy woke up in a shocked manner. She knew it was just a dream, but it felt so surreal. But what shocked her even more is the bracelet that's still on her hand. She immediately took her diary and just poured whatever she remembered from her encounter with the boy. January 20th, 2022. I don't want this memory gone, so I'll write it down. In my dream, I met Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Yes, I saw them. Peter took me around the Neverland I've always dreamed about. It feels great. I want to stay there forever. But it was just a dream after all. Surely I couldn't live there. He gave me a bracelet, and when I woke up, the bracelet was still there on my wrist. Peter is so kind to me, just like we've been best friends. Why don't you participate in Laser He said. I don't know how he could know about that event. I could still hear his voice speaking to me. I will always remember him, even if he only existed in my own imagination. I will meet him again, someday. She left just as she came, mysterious and alone. I only wish I could watch with her one more time. Kalian suka nggak videonya? Jangan lupa like, comment, dan share. Dadah.